it's important to understand how God created us and how every part of us has been harmed by living in a fallen world. Each of us is body, soul, and spirit. Our physical body relates through our senses to our physical world. Our soul is made up of our mind, our emotions, and our will. Our soul is what relates to ourselves and to others. And our spirit connects us with and relates us with God. The moment a person believes and receives Jesus, many miraculous and amazing events happen. For example, the moment a person believes he is complete in God, she is a new creation, he becomes a child of God, she's grafted into the vine, and now it's our spiritual pursuit to get to know God better and discover all he has for us. Why is it though that we can be growing in our knowledge of scripture, engaged in spiritual disciplines, but still struggle with emotional issues? Though our position has changed, our citizenship is now in heaven. Often our condition, our souls, remain largely unchanged. Our soul needs to be healed from the harm it has suffered and the lies it's embraced need to be replaced with truth. This is what Paul meant when he said, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Almost all conflict in families, churches, and relationships can be traced back to a problem with our soul. As a matter of fact, a lot of research has proven that most diseases, disorders, and relational issues are a result of a soul that is not healthy or at rest. And this makes sense, considering that our bodies are always responding in either a positive or a negative way to what's going on in our soul. If we can take just one step, take time to be aware. Mindfulness is a practice of paying attention to ourselves and our surroundings on purpose. Pay attention to your thoughts, your emotions, and how your body feels. Sometimes Christians are fearful of the idea of paying attention to ourselves. There's nothing wrong with becoming more self-aware in pursuit of our emotional health. And emotional health is critical for parents and caregivers because we cannot give a child what we don't have. Remember, spiritual formation, God awareness, and soul healing, self-awareness develop over time, gradually, as we learn to pay attention, think, and believe right.